Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about group items and what those are, how to set them up. Group items, of course, are different than assembly items because you don't have to perform an assembly to uh, have quantities available. You actually don't have quantities of group items available. It's just a way to, to almost pre-fill in a set group on an invoice and or also have you know several items filled in but only one single line item show on the invoice. So let's go ahead and show what that means. So I'm going to come into my items list and do control N for a new G group item. And I'm going to say group item B. And I can have a description on there, of course. That description, if I, if, you know, that's what's going to show in the description field on the invoice, of course. So make sure that that's adequate for your customer to see. Okay. Now, if I choose to print my items in group, I'll show you what that means in just a little bit when I do the print previews. But basically, that means do I want to show what items fill up to make this group? Okay. So I'm going to choose a couple items. I'm going to choose some labor hours. There's two labor hours, a standard in group B, some plumbing hours. There's a couple of those. Let's say there is a hmm, delivery charge that's standard, uh, $50 delivery charge. And we're going to say that there is a subtotal. And also we give a discount on this group B because they're buying all these different different things at once. Okay, so now when I go in and create an invoice, and I'm going to create it to be at the end of the month, and I choose group item B. Okay, so notice how it pre-fills in for me all the different information here based on how many, the quantities I said. Um, so I'm going to say we this customer bought five group item Bs. So notice how, again, changes my quantity based on the multiples of five. I can on the fly change quantities. So let's say the delivery charges, actually, we don't have any quantities there, right? We just have a price. Okay, it gives me the expense total, gives me the customer loyalty discount. Now, if I go ahead and do a print preview here, because I said do not print the items in the group, notice how it shows quantity of five, group item B, the price each and the total. So internally, we're tracking to each of those different items, to labor, plumbing, delivery. But externally, as far as the client's concerned, all they see is group item B, which is what they purchased, five of. Okay, now let's go back and edit the item and say to print the items in the group. So if I say to print them, now I'm gonna go ahead and create an invoice and we're going to say that it is a remodel charge here, and we're going to say group item B. And then if I save this one and do a preview, notice here, because I said print items in the group, it's going to show me the different items in the group in the breakout. All right. Now, the nice thing about groups in Prone Premiere, um, you, you know, and Enterprise, of course, but in in Pro and Premiere, you can't change inventory assemblies on the fly. Uh, you can change groups on the fly, though. All right, so I can insert in here, put in a, so we had some drywall on this project also, put in quantity of two. On here, it'll show up, there's that drywall. Now, if I go to the one previously, the group that I did before, and I insert some drywall here, quantity of five, and I say print preview, notice how it just adds it into that group item B for me. Okay, so that is how to create group items.